The darkest day in the history of our sport, the words of the head of the International Ice Hockey Federation as fans took in the news of the plane crash that decimated the locomotive Yaroslavl squad. The opening game of the Russian season at Ufa near the Ural Mountains was abandoned when the accident was confirmed. The locomotive team, third last season, would have played their first match in Minsk today. We'll do all in our power so that top-level hockey in Yaroslavl lives on, said the head of the Russian league. Ice hockey is among Russia's most popular sports, many of its stars' household names. One of the best-known players from the Soviet era said the sport would do all it could to pay its respects to the victims' memories and support their families. <sighs> This is an international tragedy for ice hockey. Lokomotiv's new coach, the Canadian Brad McCrimmon, was one of several different nationals among the victims. He only took charge this summer. Today would have been his first match. Others included players from Germany, the Czech Republic and Slovakia, Sweden and Latvia, where ice hockey is the national sport. Outside Lokomotiv Stadium in Yaroslavl, thousands of fans gathered to pay tribute.